Welcome to STIR Museum. Our mission is to share the collective human experience of community building along the Platte River Valley. But what exactly does that mean? Today we will give you a glimpse into some of the communities that we have represented on our grounds and some of the stories that they hold. The first community to make their home along the Platte River Valley was the Pawnee Nation. The Pawnee inhabited a vast swath of the Great Plains region, covering much of central Nebraska and northern Kansas. The Pawnee lived along the Loop and Platte Rivers for centuries, but today are mainly based out of Oklahoma. Here we tell the story of both the Earth Lodge and TP homes, familial and tribal roles and duties, how the Pawnee made use of the land, including the buffalo in their natural environment, and aspects of their unique culture. Stir Museum maintains a working relationship with the Pawnee so that we can ask questions and make sure we are telling their story the way they want it to be told. This area represents our log cabin settlers who moved here for various reasons. Part of this area is set up like a road ranch. A road ranch was somewhat like a modern day gas station or truck stop. People traveling by wagons could rest here, get a meal, and utilize tools to fix anything that they might have broken on their journey. Cabins were not typically all built together like a town. Instead, they dotted the prairie as settlers decided that they were either too tired to carry on or that where they were was the perfect place for their new home. Here we tell the story of families, hardships, and triumphs. We do this through the retelling of the story of the real people who lived in this larger cabin, the Virig family. This is Railroad Town. The year is 1893. This town is named after what it represents, a small town that popped up near the area of a railroad. Here you can see there are both houses and businesses, such as a barber shop, a mercantile, and a shoe repair shop. There are also other necessities such as a town hall, a school, and various trade sites, including a blacksmith, a tinsmith, and a newspaper shop. Many stories live in this town, whether they are told through the buildings themselves, the artifacts within them, or the people who work in the various sites. This area represents rural Nebraska in the early 1900s. Even from the beginning, Nebraska was an agricultural-based area. If you take a look in the big red barn, you will see some things haven't changed all that much. Other things, like planters and machinery, have advanced quite a bit. However, no matter how different some things may look from modern farms we are familiar with, parallels can always be found between the stories of the hard-working farming families of the past and of those today. This is the Stir Building. It was created by a famous architect, Edward Durrell Stone. But his story is only one of many to be told within this beautiful white building surrounded by a moat. This building houses many different exhibits and artifacts that are constantly changing so we can continue to tell as many people's stories as possible. As you learn about all of the different stories within this building, oftentimes you can find similarities to your own story where you least expect it. Every individual's story is important and needs a place to be saved and shared for years to come. That is our mission, our goal. That is what we do. We collect and preserve the stories of both the people of the past and the people of the present in order to share their human experiences with the people of the future.